Hi, it's Sandy Parker and welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. Today we're going to make our birds a Christmas present. This is a huge pine cone. I'm going to measure it for you because it is huge. It is roughly a six inch long pine cone. We are going to use cheap generic creamy peanut butter not chunky creamy peanut butter and I went to the bulk section of my grocery store and I bought bulk bird seed that was like 48 cents a pound so this was 48 cents worth or roughly 48 cents worth and I'm going to use some floral wire this is I don't know just this floral wire it doesn't say anything like how many gauge or whatever and I think I'm going to wire mine up first what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to wire into the top here just so I'm sure that my pine cone is going to hold up you know with the birds uh, my bird feeders two of my big ones got ruined by the neighborhood bear I live very very close to a town but apparently this bear doesn't care where I live it's uh, all about what's what's for supper Sandy and so anyway it ruined um, three of my big bird feeders and so now I'm gonna go to the n natural one so that hopefully he doesn't destroy a bunch more okay so before I go any further I'll just show you what I'm doing I wrap the wire around about three or four rows down and I'm just going to, I have it, I just have it, let's see, I have about a foot on this end, and the other end I have attached still to the wire, uh, you know, to the ream or whatever you call it, to the, the, you know, whatever, we'll just call it the whatever. So I have that, and I'm going to just twist it. Once I have it spun once, I'm just going to keep twisting it inside there to make sure that my wire is nice and tight like that then I'm gonna take both ends of it like this and I'm gonna cut off I get my scissors sorry one thing I forgot my my Tim Holtz scissors will cut through anything and so I have about a foot whoo sorry about a foot extra on both sides and I'm going to tie those into a knot. Well, not tie it. I'm going to twist it into a twisty knot many, many, many times. And then when I'm done doing that, because it's, you know, the, I don't want the ends to cut my birds, what I'm going to do is once I get down closer to the end, and I'm sure that it's really well adhered like that, I'm going to snip off the edges that are sticking out like that and then I'm going to turn that piece in and I'm going to twist it back on the circle can you see what I'm doing I'm twisting it into the circle that I just made so now that we've got it completely wired up and ready to go it should the wire should stay because birds aren't going to you know be overly heavy on it I'm going to use a couple different tools to spread my peanut butter. I have this spoon and I have this spatula and then I have a smaller one. So I thought I'd start with the spatula that's rubber or rubbery and see if I can kind of get back down in, into the grooves with it. And I'm going to use the spatula like I'm kind of buttering. No, more like I'm baking, doing something with a cake. see the reason I did the wire first if I hadn't done the wire first I would end up with um, trying to work around the peanut butter and I haven't gotten to the bird seed level but if I had had my bird seed in here putting the wire in after the fact would have been gross and not too much fun I have a very very serious audience right here now my dogs are just very very quietly 
sitting behind me waiting for me to go, okay, let's have some peanut butter. I think we're pretty good. I would clean my hands now, but what's the point? Because we're going to have birdseed all over them now and peanut butter. So hold on for just a second and let me get my birdseed open. Well, if, if it wasn't in the screen for part of that, I'm going to have Rich cut out any part that the where the uh, pine cone getting slathered with peanut butter wasn't in frame. Because, I mean, if you saw any of it, you saw enough to know how to do it. I have my bag of... of um, I want to see if I can have it. Yeah, I have it in there. I want to see if you can make sure you can see that. I'm going to hold on to my pine cone by the wire just so I have a little bit of stability. And then I'm just going to pat birdseed into the side of it. And then I'm going to turn it. Oh, now I've got some action. I've got honey. Honey's now decided there's got to be a better way to get to that peanut butter. She's she's right beside the peanut butter now. In a second, she'll probably be in the in the frame. This takeout container has worked pretty well so far. Um, hoping that it'll continue to work. Uh, that you know that it won't snap. I don't think it will. And I'm going to turn it. So I can get into this side area. Okay, I'm gonna lay it on its side, and I think I'm gonna dump some of the, you know, put more on it, and then after I put more of this on it, then I think I'm gonna roll it in the peanut butter or in the uh, bird seed that's left behind. So let me tapping it nice and gently. The goal, obviously, is to make sure that I cover the whole um, everything that's sticky and that I don't end up with anything that's not sticky you know I don't want to I mean I don't want to have any of the any of the sticky peanut buttery part that's not covered I want to cover so let me get my my uh, mess off and we'll see how how our little project came out so that's what it looks like after it's done and I put it in the refrigerator so that it is the the peanut butter and the uh, you know it, it held better and then I'm just going to hang it outside on um, I have hooks to hang you know like those um, shepherd's hooks I have one of those I'm going to hang my big pine cone on there it is sideways and I think it came out really well and these are not inexpensive to make because, well, when you use a pine cone as big as mine, um, it took almost a whole jar of a dollar fifty worth of peanut butter and uh, about, I don't know, let's say half of a pound of the bird seed. So there's about, oh no, there's mm, there's maybe a third, a quarter maybe a quarter of a jar of peanut butter. So there's at least uh, there's at least a dollar and a quarter involved in making one when you're using a pine cone as big as mine. But I do think it would be a fun gift to give to like a grandmother for kids to make. It's easy to make and it'd be fun for you and your kids to make over Thanksgiving break. So I made my second one and on this one I used like a jute thicker twine and I just tied a knot in it and I like this better again it's not going to hold up long term but for one round of birds eating the seed and the peanut butter I'm sure it'll hold up that long and um, we're supposed to get like 15 to 80 18 inches of snow in the next three days so it's more important than ever that I feed my bird I hope you enjoyed this video and that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe and tell your friends about me on social media because I really appreciate that and thanks so much for watching Bye-bye.